Hello viewers of Dubai Life with Shaban. Thank you for watching and thank you for supporting me. And by supporting, I mean subscribing, liking, sharing the videos. And in case you haven't by now, you should be just going and clicking on that red button just below on your screen. Today's topic or today's video is about the oldest, I mean the oldest standing mosque in the United Arab Emirates. It is very, very old. That is a very, very old mosque and still standing. It is in Al Fujairah. Fujairah is one of the Emirates of the United Arab Emirates. It's about one and a half hours of drive from Dubai and maybe two hours from Abu Dhabi Drive. It's on, um, it's in a small village called Dibia. Dibia is uh, just on the range, on the ranges of Mountain Hajar. Um, the mosque was built very many years ago and it was built with only local material. It wasn't built with anything foreign. There was no cement in those years. There were no iron bars. It was all rock and stone and mud from the sea or from the nearby areas. So all the materials they used to build this mosque were local materials. Nothing imported, no tiles imported from anywhere else. This mosque has lived for all these years. Only that recently, has been locked due to COVID-19. So in this video is about, it's just part one, briefly talking about the mosque. Then once the lockdown is eased in uh, Fujaira, I'll go back and give you a proper detailed view of the mosque inside, because this time I didn't get a chance to get into the mosque because it was locked. However, briefly I'll tell you about the mosque, uh, its structure, its history, and what is going on at the moment just in normal days without COVID-19 lockdown. So stay with me, watch to the end. The exact date of construction of this mosque is not known just because there is no proper record of history, what happened, who was who, who constructed it, who commissioned it, all that is not existing. Okay, let's start with the structure of this mosque. As I said initially, the mosque was built with only local material and that means local material in those years. That is very, very many years ago, way before the industrial or the industrial age. So what do we know about the mosque and the material and the age and the time when it was built? That's what you're going to get from me now. Um, the date of construction of this mosque is uncertain and because the mud and stone built structure use, uses no wood, Radio carbon dating is not possible. It is estimated to date to the 15th century. However, some much earlier estimates have been proposed. Fujaira Archaeology and uh, Heritage Department concluded that this mosque must have been built in the year 1446. That is 1446. That makes it more than 500 years old mosque. And up to now, the structure is still standing, as you can see. It's all, it's all intact. Only that a few additions have been made to preserve it to this date. The small square structure has an area of 53 square meters and was built from material available in the area, primarily stone and mud and plaster were used to construct this mosque. So stones of different sizes, and plaster, maybe from the sea or from nearby areas, were used to build the structure. And layers and of coatings of plaster were added on top of this mosque. The structure has four roofing domes. The domes are the roofs, and in the middle we have only one centrally placed uh, pillar that is holding all the four domes. The same pillar divides the mosque into four sections. So it's a small mosque with one single pillar holding four domes domes and the domes are the ones that act as the ceiling, as the ceiling and the roof for this mosque. And the same pillar in the middle divides this mosque into four sections as you can see in this video. There were no iron bars, there were no metals, there was no steel at that time, there wasn't cement. So there's no any metal in this mosque. There's no use of any wood in putting up the structure. You can see there are some small openings or windows that could that let in light and air, fresh air into the mosque. So the circulation of air in the mosque is through these small windows. There was no AC during that time, so the only way they could get fresh air is through the door and the windows. Even lighting, I believe there wasn't that much of lighting without 
these windows. Right now, there are modern ACs installed just to keep the place and to preserve it. And currently, apart from COVID-19 uh, restrictions, this mosque have been, has been used for prayers. Every day, five prayers take place in this mosque. Because of the modern lighting and the modern AC in the mosque, people are holding prayers in this mosque. It's not until COVID-19 lockdown, and that's the same reason I wasn't able to get in the mosque to get to the details. I got some photos, but be assured, after the lockdown, I'll get back to this place and get you proper details. More details inside of uh, how the, the, the walls were carved in to allow keeping or storage of books and that may, may, may be mainly the Quran and maybe any other religious books at the time. Up, up to now, there are, there are books that are kept in the mosque. There's Imam and the Mu'adhin who ensure that all the five prayers are still held in this mosque. So, once it's open again, I'll let you know, I'll go there, I'll have maybe my prayers in the mosque and I'll bring you more information about this mosque. This is just a brief on the mosque. Wait for more and more places I'll be giving you on my channel. So once again, I have to remind you, in case you haven't subscribed to my channel, do subscribe and click the notification bell so that every time I have new information about these places that are not normally advertised in the papers, they're not usually advertised on media. Every time I get a place I feel that should I should bring to you, you'll be the first to know if you play the notification bell. So thank you so much for watching to this point and please share the video with everyone who may need to know about this. Maybe you're not yet in Dubai or UAE and you're planning to visit. These are some of the places that you may want to visit. For more places to visit in United Arab Emirates, check out other videos on my channel. Thank you so much.